Okay, so is this the world's cheapest gun? I think it is. And I, I think I accidentally bought it. Uh, well, I intentionally bought this gun for particular reasons I'll get into in one minute. And after I bought it, I'm like, dude, this might be the cheapest gun in the world. Uh, this is American Tactical. So being American Tactical, of course, it's made in Turkey. <laughs> Y'all know. Uh, so the... This I paid ninety five dollars for this. I think they retail online for a hundred and five or something. The local hardware store, I get a lot of stuff. They actually have really good deals on guns and ammo. And why I bought this, uh, where I live on the country, we have incredible amount of rats, snakes, squirrels, all kinds of little critters. Especially they try to get in the garage and the barn and stuff in the winter time. I usually use my 9mm shot shells, or I also have, hold on, let me grab this other one. Ah, I just had to grab my pistol there, and if you hear some dogs going nuts in the background, I got a, uh, maybe, she's not even four months old, I got a pup that's trying to literally take on a 150 pound Great Dane and a German Shepherd at the moment. <laughs> Little pup, big attitude. Uh, so I usually carry this, it's a Cobra double barrel. <clears throat> you can shoot two and a half or three inch out of it. The same with this shotgun. It has a three inch chamber on. And I'll try to put in some video clips of me shooting this in between talking so it's not so boring. So I'll put one in here now. Time for ad break, an ADD break, as Brandon would say. Uh, so I got, I'm gonna be doing my 10 millimeter video up here too. So come, probably come out after this one. Uh, but yeah, ammo. So we're gonna be shooting this. No, nomad so we got a two and a half inch number nine shot two and a half inch slug and then a three three inch magnum uh six shot yeah so you can see the how much more brass the three inch have if you only buy a pistol or something and only shoots two and a half you sit down to pee <laughs> it's kind of digging on one guy i work with he uh he uh, that's, all, that's all he can handle he can't handle these ones he gets scared but it's kind of an inside joke so let me get uh, a couple targets set up here and we'll try them out. Okay, just first we're going to show you the power. These 410s are pretty nasty. This is a 3 inch mag, number 6 shot. Yeah, put it right in the hoe there. Close her up. Close is nice. Because it works pretty good. I got a pumpkin, a top of a pumpkin, and then a gallon of water behind there. Alright, let's so get the guys out. Uh, we're good. Man, that's a center hit too. And then, like I said, when you when you're done, it doesn't flop out there. Oh yeah, that actually kind of stinks about her. Okay, one thing I'll say very good about this. I'll see if I can get you guys. I'm a big fan of just the bead sight, and oh yeah, this gun does it very well. They have a little notch in there, but you can get your bead super tight. See. It's a very nice bead sight. It really is. It shoots very good. I like that. Okay, you can see, man, it messed it up. We was just about that far away. It's pretty close, you know, if you're using it for defense or hunting. You get a good, pretty good spread, but yet still hits pretty hard. So let's try some two and a half inch rounds. Okay, as you see, it shoot pretty good there. Uh, the reason I got this, uh, like I said, because of the squirrels and stuff, uh, rats, snakes, chipmunks, all kinds of shit tries to get in my barn, and yeah, it's annoying. And I usually use my 9mm, I'll keep it on me with some shot shells or this. And they work good, but it's not. I wanted a 410. I wanted to get, come on, Pop, I'm trying to do a YouTube video here. <laughs> She's got slammed into the sink. Uh, and the Great Dane's eating behind me. I literally should have left you guys outside. <laughs> trying to do a serious video here uh what's i even saying i wanted to get the rosy brawler it's the, it has a nine inch barrel pistol but nobody had it in stock i was down at the hardware store and I actually bought more 410 for this and they had this there for 95 bucks and we did yeah 95 bucks i'll buy it i'll leave it in the barn or the garage or attached to the tractor i tell you what this thing shoots great man like it really like the pattern and what i want it for completely perfect I didn't get a chance last night to actually shoot anything other than just some crap with it, but that shooting range, I'll put some video clips in here and there. 
Okay, next up, I got this another pumpkin top, and there's a level 3A plate behind there, which I'm sure a number 9 410 shell will absolutely fuck it up. Let's see. Take that trigger. Seems like it might be getting a little better. Okay, completely annihilate the pumpkin. And then here's the plate. She's been hit a few times. There's some BBs on there. So let's try a slug on Mr. Turkey. Okay, so when it comes to shooting slugs out of this gun, it does not say what kind of uh, like barrel profile it has or anything. We're going to find out together if you can shoot slugs out of it. I'm going to say you probably can. I think it's just kind of a... I don't think it's full or anything. So... I'm gonna try my best here with this awesome trigger. Try for right in the center. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. I literally got a piece of lead right in the fucking finger. It hurts so bad. Ah. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Mm. Oh my God, it won't focus. But Jesus Christ, that hurt piece of lead right in the fucking finger ah, wow that hurts but it was a good shot i can tell you what trying to shoot slugs with that terrible trigger it actually put a dent in there man it dented this ar 400 steel like nothing does that other than like the ap rounds even like my 10 millimeter with an extreme penetrator unless i hit the same spot because that was pretty close to where i hit but it feels like it dented it dude <laughs> i say that that really hurt man hmm all right science there it is pretty good gun trigger sucks other than that good so let's go over the pros and the cons of the gun first so let's do the pros first okay now that that's out of the way let's do, move on to the cons because there's a few of them <laughs> now it's uh it is what it is it's a 95 dollar turkish shotgun so it is chambered in three inch. Uh, sorry, my camera never focuses. It's chambered in three inch, made in Turkey. The Nomad, yeah, that's what it's called. Honestly, though, like it folds up nice, has a little cutaway in the stock, so it does fold up super clean. And then the machining and stuff on it is super tight. It really is. It closes good, and it uses the that to open. It doesn't eject per se. It just kind of put a live round in here. We're trying not to shoot the pup pup. You're in a bad spot there, pup. So you close it. It's a little stiff. It's brand new though, too. So when you open it, some of them eject it. It just pulls the shell out for you to grab, which actually I actually kind of like. I, I mean, everybody loves to fold one out, but it's kind of nice to be able to pull out yourself there. Uh, I think this. I think it says 18 inch barrel, but it looks a little, it might be 18 inches. I think that's what it is. I think it's what it said online. I mean, the engraving on this thing is borderline almost what I could do. And then the hammer, stiff hammer. Let me just make sure that's unloaded before I uh, show you the, the biggest, most amazing. Here's the inside of it. <clears throat> the, the only incredible con which i cannot believe a factory did this with this trigger god i tried with my uh trigger tester wouldn't even read it and that goes the 14 pound it has 15 to 20 pound trigger pull 15 to 20 i mean i'm a big dude I'm 6'2", 250. I was like, am I missing something? I'm just like... <laughs> I mean, it's not bad for me. Like, you got to really just... You can't... There's no just squeezing. You got to, like, yank that thing. That trigger. I mean, you got to feel in person. I have never seen anything that terrible. <laughs> what I'm going to try to do... Like, it doesn't matter. I'm not really hunting, per se, with this. I'm just shooting rodents, so... If it, if it becomes a problem, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the trigger out. And usually what you can do, 
like the between the trigger and the hammer there's probably just a little bit too much material on there you can sand it down polish it up and that would probably fix that up a lot better probably drop it down to under 10 pounds anyway or right around there be doable because i was let my boy shoot it and he's 11 and he was like i can't pull this trigger down and i was like yeah if you get down the way he was he's kind of gun was just a hair big for him yet and he was kind of like pulling up but if you get down here even there god damn what the hell man that trigger like how was someone like yeah that's good <laughs> close my mind but there it is the cheapest gun in the world i'll put some uh shooting clips in here and there like i said if you know one that's cheaper let me know i was just curious i was like i don't I can't, I can't think of a gun that's cheaper than $95, brand new, you know, brand new, mind you, so, there it is, if you need just a cheap 410 to, you know, if I run it over the tractor, which I very might, if I get pissed off, or I might try making some stupid load, because a AAA battery fits pretty good in these things, so, we'll probably do some stupid stuff with it, they had a 20 gauge down here, the same one, I think it was the same price, maybe a dollar more, uh, and they do have a 12 gauge and they didn't have it there. I've seen it there before. I think it was 109 or something. So if I see it down there again, I'll buy it. So I wanted a cheap one to, uh, I used to do a bunch of videos of shooting stupid shit out and the tragic accident happened to it. But there it is. The world's cheapest new gun.